Breaking news. If it bleeds, it leads. In your news today... You are now tuned in to Dirty Laundry Media. Stand by. So what's going on, Dirty Laundry family? This is Bill Money. Uh, back in the building, tapping in with another video. Um, right now, we're just going to chop it up for a minute about Fat Joe. Uh, Fat Joe, the rapper, the white Hispanic rapper, um, who recently gave a white supremacist take on the Bill Cosby case. Yeah, Fat Joe says that Bill did some things. Bill Cosby did some things. It's obvious to me that Fat Joe needs a ghost rider for his lives. I can remember last year, uh, Fat Joe opened his mouth saying that Drake was the Michael Jackson of our time. He got roasted for that. Uh, recently, he was roasted for trying to compare culture vulture DJ Khaled to the great composer and producer Quincy Jones. And the hits just keep on coming. So now Fat Joe done went and put his roast compoyo eating lips on Bill Cosby. And we have to let Fat Joe know that Bill Cosby is one of ours. He needs to back off. Fat Joe shows his ignorance of black history and culture which is littered with examples of black men being falsely accused of rape or making sexual advances towards white women. Emmett Till comes to mind. Throughout black history, there have been an innumerable amount of individual lives, families, and entire communities destroyed based on false allegations of rape. And Fat Joe himself was accused of violating a woman in 2010. Now, there was an article uh, which detailed rapper Fat Joe and others in his entourage uh, when they were briefly detained and questioned in Madison, Wisconsin, after a woman reported an alleged violation. Um, I believe the complaint was one of inappropriate touching after Fat Joe, whose real name is Joseph Cartagena, performed at the Orpheum Theater. Again, this was back in 2010. So Fat Joe knows firsthand how easy it is to get accused of inappropriate behavior. And now this case ultimately went away. But Fat Joe knows what time it is. Now why did Fat Joe choose Bill Cosby as a target? His talking points mirror those in the mainstream media who have spun the narrative which makes Bill Cosby guilty of the many accusations which have been leveled against him, although there is no evidence supporting any of them. The initial prosecutor in the Andrea Constant case admitted that he did not see a viable criminal case against Bill Cosby, that Andrea Constant was not a credible witness, and that she changed her story multiple times. There was no physical evidence and Constant continued to meet with Bill Cosby after the so-called violation. So in my opinion, Fat Joe has more than likely been tapped by the liberal media to act as a mouthpiece for their various agendas that they're unrolling in the black communities. Fat Joe has been able to maintain a level of relevance although his music career has slowed down. A major reason for this is Fat Joe has been signed to a management deal with Rock Nation since 2017. So if you know, you know. And we all know that Rock Nation, HNIC, Jay-Z, is very much tied in with the liberal establishment and left-leaning politics. Jay-Z famously had a well-publicized sit-down with Barack Obama. He said that he texts with Obama and that he also has him on speed dial. Jay-Z also stumped for Hillary Clinton when she lost to Donald Trump in 2016. And Fat Joe's politics are pretty much in alignment with the left's agenda, as he was handily and willingly used as a tool to promote the lockdown agenda in 2020. So it's my guess that they tried it Fat Joe out to make the statement that his white zaddy could not, thinking that Fat Joe, being a somewhat well-known rapper, that his comments would not raise too many eyebrows, but they made a gross miscalculation. Fat Joe has been called on the carpet, Fat Joe has been weighed in the balance, and his fat ass has broke the scale. Damn, damn, damn. Fat Joe.
Fat Joe spoke out of turn on this situation and would have been better off keeping his opinion to himself. But he let his handlers put a battery in his back and send him on a real dummy mission. I will no longer support anything Fat Joe has anything to do with. And I want to give much respect to Judge Joe Brown who has been on the front lines and expertly explaining this legal trick bag in layman's terms. We recently watched Judge Joe dismantled Mark Lamont Hill on his own show where Hill repeatedly tried to inject his opinion and emotion into a cut and dry black and white legal issue. What it is is the Supreme Court vacated the verdict which restores Bill Cosby's presumption of innocence and that's the bottom line.